Cole getting the controller and the easy go cart ready to ship, boys. Freaking right it is. So I already started this job and then I thought to myself, hey, I bet you'd like to see this, wouldn't you? Freaking right you would. So I already got it all unbolted just about here and unhooked. This is the easy go 36 volt electric golf cart, boys. I found a guy online, controller MD there. You send him your old controller and he rebuilds it for $99 US, boys. So we're gonna give that a shot because that's freaking cheap, boys. Hey, freaking right it is. So now that we have it unhooked, there's a controller. It looks like it's been replaced or repaired once before, boys, because it's got uh, quality time reconstruction, hey? Quality time reconstruction, boys. Hopefully it hasn't been reconstructed once already, for frig's sakes, probably has. Why wouldn't it, hey? This is the only thing I can start by doing, and hopefully this is the problem in this cart because it seems to be the problem, boys. Get this ready to ship off. We'll have to see how it works out. I picked up this cart for 600 bones, boys, thinking I had a good deal because it needed batteries and a charger. Lo and behold, I get the damn thing and the controller just gone on it, eh? So for a new controller to buy, you're like uh, $400, you know, it's anywhere from $400, $700 for a brand new one, boys. And uh, if I spend that on this cart, then I lose my shirt. Freaking right I do. So I gotta try to fix this cart for as less as possible so I can turn around and sell her for about 2,500 bucks, boys, running, okay? So it shouldn't be hard to do. Like, we should be able to get this pretty good here and get this sent off and... Uh, Bob's your friggin' uncle. It's hard to test the motor. I'm not 100%, I'm not a great electrician, eh, as you can tell in my previous videos there. I'm not a great electrician, but I'm not sure how to test the motor, so I took it into the old, um, Turf one there, and he said try this and that and the other thing, and I tried that this and the other thing, and it didn't work. So he says if that doesn't work, it's probably the controller. So we're gonna ship this controller off, get a repair job done to her, get her back, and uh, see if we can't uh, zing in a ding ding, Bob. Hey, eh? I'm gonna cut this metal out down here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me take tell you down a little bit more. I'm gonna cut this metal out here, and instead of running six six volts, boys, I'm gonna run three twelve volts. Hey, eh? it works. Freaking right it works. So I have them batteries in stock, I do, hey? Eh? Freaking right. So we'll cut that floor out and get it ready for 312 volts. And uh, hopefully we'll have this thing running within, I don't know, a month, hey? Eh? Month or so, boys. She's a pretty decent cart. She needs some cleanup here, but I'm gonna clean that up when I go to weld the new frame in for the batteries anyways. But that's about the only rusty spot on the cart, boys, right there. Hey, eh? the rust is just dirty. Freaking right it's dirty. But, uh, She's a pretty solid, decent little machine, she is. So hopefully, bah, we'll fix my problem, boys. Me? So that's what I'm doing right now, I am. I'm not doing too much today. It's beautiful out. I got the garage all switched around a little bit. I put my computer over here. Now I got a wide open gap, and I moved all my little doodads over there so I can see them better, eh? Look at it, I can just go turn the old light Baruski on there and go, oh yeah, yeah, that looks good. Okay, yeah, decent. Hey, freaking right I can. Things are coming together for the winter time here, boys. Like I said, it's kind of a relaxing day. Did some tweaking with the old cameras so I could see the trailer and whatnot now. Hey, I couldn't see the trailer before. I couldn't see if anybody's getting in it. And then uh, couldn't see Melanie on the little hammock there, so I switched that one around. Move this one over a little bit so I can see the gazebo in the gate. And move this one around, that one around, this one, that one. Freaking right I did. Hey, those cameras are working good, those boys. Just so you know, the cameras work good. So if you want to get yourself some cameras, that's what I got, boys, right there. And they work good so far. They're all Ethernet cable like I did in my video there. And I finally got them all working. I had cocked over friggin' ends, so I had to buy new ends and get that fixed. But she's working mint now. Friggin' right, it's working mint now. I'm not looking forward to winter, but I am looking forward to winter because I got a lot of stuff I can do over the winter I do. And it saves me money, too, because I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to camp, don't have to do that and the other thing. So it actually saves me money winter time does. Christ, boys. I don't know what else to tell you today. It's just an easy going day. Having a coffee with the old dirty business. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe and like, and this is just a short little video, and uh, I'll keep you updated on the old easy go as we progress on that one. And in the meantime, we'll keep working on the Yamaha G1 because it's not even close to being ready yet, boys, but I wanted to somewhat start on the easy go, maybe recoup some cash for the old Yami, eh? But I kind of want to keep the electric too. The electric would be cool to have. Or then the gas are noisy and they're stinky and you know stuff like that. So if I had one of each, that'd be decent. But I can't sell the other one to make up for these two. So one of them's got to go, boys. And then I'll have to find another one. Hey, freaking reader will. 
Hopefully everybody's having a good day and make sure you stay tuned for more episodes of the golf cart there. And we're gonna get into some RC repair soon because I wanna fix the old slash because I like jumping snowbanks, I do. So we'll get there. The RCs will be back. For sure they will, because I got so goddamn many of them, I can't just let them sit there and do nothing, right? So we'll get the RCs back. Don't worry, my RC fans. Just hang in there, boys. And uh, wintertime's coming, so maybe we'll get a few uh, cooking with Bilsos out and about. Why wouldn't we, eh? That'd be all right. Freaking right. I'm running out of stuff to cook, though, boys. That's why I haven't done many videos, eh? You only cook so much with brown sugar and ketchup. Freaking right, Ken. But uh, we'll have to start on something new there, we will. Hopefully everybody's having a good day and not doing anything I didn't do and uh, you know what to do for now. Yeah.